I'm tempted to ask you uh, if you were drafted for this job or you volunteered, but I won't go there because it's a tough job that you have, and I know that, and I appreciate you being here today to present the President's budget. I'm also fascinated by this discussion we have, and we get into baselines and all that kind of stuff. The American people really don't care about baselines, uh, but I do find it interesting that uh, you're trying to use OCO savings when there is not an account in Treasury with all this money in it that we're going to save and not spend. That's the reality. As I remember, it was the Bush administration that signed the status, what was it, the status force agreement, uh, and we've known we've been going to be coming out of Iraq for a number of years. So to count a continued effort as we have had in the last several years for the next 10 years and then say we're saving it is just phony, which a lot of this budget is, quite frankly. What the American people, I'm just a simple guy from Idaho, what the American people want to know is how much deficit are we going to add to our current deficit if we were to pass this blueprint this year, which I understand is $1.3 trillion? How much would it be at the end of the 10-year cycle, which I understand is going to be still around $750 billion? What would the total deficit be at the end of a 10-year cycle if we adopted the President's spending plan? Point one. Point two is the point that Mr. Garrett made. Every budget I've seen except the ones proposed by this President previously and this year never put a target out there of when we expect the budget to be balanced. And you ought to at least present a budget which says, I don't care, 50 years from now, make it some time, but tell us when, if we adopt this spending plan, when we will achieve a balanced budget and quit adding to the debt. The question I have is, does this administration really care about deficits and debt? They talk a lot about it, but their budgets don't reflect that. And I also hear a lot of talk about Simpson-Bowles, uh, which I support, but you know what? This administration walked away from it. Well, it was a lot at once. Let me try to respond, and I know I, I, I will do it quickly, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I'm honored to be in the job, and I'm honored to serve uh, this president and honored to present this budget. Um, on OCO, I've made the points, I'll repeat them, it closes the back door. I think we all agree that CBO is our referee and CBO scores it as savings. What back door as are you to the deficit, about? the back door to, to more discretionary spending. Second, on deficits, um, I don't think uh, you want to look at this in nominal dollars. No one thinks a dollar today is worth a dollar tomorrow. Uh, so I'd rather have the dollar today than tomorrow. So let's, let's pivot to GDP and percent of GDP. Nobody cares and about that. They care about what the dollar amount is that the end you of the are day, going to create this, in deficit spending. At the end of Nobody the day. Said, the constituents that talk to me don't say, as a percentage of GDP, what is our debt going to be in 10 years? As a percentage you of GDP. You know what they say is how much are we spending and how much are we going in debt and are we becoming but Greece? If you, this if you, plan if you is were, Greece's plan. Yeah, let, them, let them answer. Yeah. Right. Let them right. Answer. I mean, I think... What you're seeing is declining deficits in real dollars, which is the right way to look at it. You're seeing debt stabilize as a percent of GDP. We are hardly Greece. Look at our interest rates. This is a place where people want to invest. And if we no. get on the President's plan, people plan want to continue to, to invest. Um, this budget achieves significant savings in the 10-year window. It is a step. It's an important step. There's more work to be done. And the President has shown his leadership and his willingness to work with Congress to achieve deficit reduction, and this, let's start by getting this budget, uh, the policies in this budget, enacted into law. That's a good, it's a good, we will achieve a good milestone by doing that. You do a great job of trying to defend it, but I tell you that this budget leads us to Greece. At some point in time, we have to balance this budget, and I don't see this administration taking any steps to do that. Yes, they make little savings here and little savings there and make phony comparisons against a baseline that they've created and say that we're saving money when we're not. I will tell you that the Americans we, we are, we are, are fed up with this. We are not Greece. And I'm fed up with this. We are not, we're not Greece. Greece yet. And we're not going to be Greece. This budget achieves a, sust a sustainable level of debt as a percent of GDP and will make sure that this country continues to be a great place to invest in. I believe in this country. I believe in our workers. I believe in our competitiveness and the budget and the president's you know budget so supports it. So does everyone in here. So the rhetoric, I wish your budget matched the rhetoric that you put forward. But I do appreciate you being here because you've got a tough job.